In this video we are going to sew some envelope cushion covers in the spirit of Valentine's Day. The materials are listed here but you can also have another look at it in the PDF file. Both designs start out the same way. We fold one of the back piece edges 1.5 cm over each and fold them over again 1.5 cm and pin and sew them into place. Now we put one of the back pieces on top of the other one so that they overlap 10 cm and pin and tack them into place along the side edges. Then we finish the raw edges of the back square piece with a zigzag or overlock stitch. We trace the love heart onto the flyzer fix, iron it onto the knit fabric and cut it out. We now iron the lightweight interfacing or stabilizer to the back of the center front square piece, peel the back of the flyzer fix off and iron the love heart onto the center square front piece. Then we sew around the edge of the love heart with a zigzag stitch to make sure it stays in place. Then we pin and sew the center side pieces to the side edges of the front center square.
Next we press the seam allowance away from the center square and top stitch. Now we pin the top and bottom front strips to the center panel and sew them into place. Then we press the seam allowance of the seams we just sewed away from the center panel and top stitch. And we finish the raw outer edges with a zigzag or overlock stitch. Next we sew the LOVE design. We trace the LOVE letters onto the flyzofix, iron them onto the knit fabric and cut them out. We now iron the lightweight interfacing or stabilizer to the back of the center front strip, peel the back of the flyzer fix off and iron the letters onto the center front strip. Then we sew around the edge of the letters with a zigzag stitch to make sure they stay in place.
Now we pin the top and bottom front strips to the center panel and sew them into place. Then we press the seam allowance of the seams we just sewed away from the center panel and top stitch. And we finish the raw outer edges with a zigzag or overlock stitch. We place the back piece right sides facing onto the front piece and pin and sew them together along the outer edges. Then we can turn the fabric inside out and put the cushion insert inside. And then our cushion covers are done. I hope you enjoyed this project. I would love to see some of your pictures in the Sami Facebook group. The link is down below in the video description. Thank you so much for watching and for sewing with me. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos if you like, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. I'd love to see you over there. See you next time. Bye!